In this video, we will look at configuring IPv6 over Cisco SD-WAN fabric. Cisco SD-WAN supports dual stack, which means the edge devices are able to run IPv4 as well as IPv6 in parallel. It allows hosts to simultaneously reach IPv4 and IPv6 content. Attached is the topology we will use for this demo. We have two edge devices that are connected over a Cisco SD-WAN overlay, which is consisting of two transports and are already exchanging IPv4 routes. We will now configure IPv6 on the service side, that is the LAN interface and exchange IPv6 routes. We will then check the connectivity by configuring IPv6 on the host connected to the edge devices. So let's begin. Let's check our existing IPv4 connectivity between the devices. So this is my Ubuntu host that is connected to the edge device. So let's go to networking. And here you can see that IPv6 is disabled. Let's quickly check our configurations. And there's no IPv6 address configured. Let's quickly ping our gateway, which is on IPv4. And let's also try to ping uh, the host on the other side, which is 2.11. And we see successful communication between the two edge devices. So let's go to our vManage dashboard. Uh, let's go to templates. And here I have a CH template, which is already attached to the two devices. So let's go ahead and just edit the template. Let's go to the service VPN. And here you can see that it's assigned a VPN on template and an interface template. So quickly check. This is the CSR GI3 template that's assigned to it. So let's go ahead and edit our CSR GI3 template. So we'll go to the CSR GI3 and edit the template. So here you can see that it's been already configured for IPv4. So let's go ahead and configure IPv6. Let's go to the device and let's give it a, a better name. And it's been device specific. Uh, so let's go ahead and update the template. Let's configure the required addresses. So it should be 001.1/64 for CH1, and for CH2 it will be 2001.002.164. Let's go ahead and click Next. Let's quickly check our configuration. And that's the configuration. That's the address that gets configured for Gigabit Ethernet 3. So let's go ahead and click Configure Devices. Let's confirm. That's it. Uh, let's go back and configure IPv6 on the hosts. Click Edit. And IPv6, let's go to Manual. And now give it an IP address of uh, 5. Prefix of 64. And the gateway of what we configured on our edge device, which is colon 1. That's it. Let's click Save. Let's quickly restart our network. So let me just disconnect and connect it again. Let's quickly check our configuration. And here you can see that uh, the IPv6 address which we configured is already appearing in the NIC card. Let's go ahead and to the second host device and repeat the procedure. Let's go to IPv6 settings, make it manual, and your add 
column 2, and column 5, with the prefix of 64, and with the gateway of the H device. Let's click Save. Just restart our networking here. Disconnect. Let's check the configuration. And you can see that the IPv6 address has been configured. So let's go ahead and try to ping. Let's do ping 6 and try to ping our, the host on the other side, which should be colon 0, colon 2, 0, 0, 1, colon 0, colon 0, colon 1, double colon 5. And we can see successful communication between the edge devices. So let's go to the other device as well and from here let's go and try go ahead and try to ping the other edge which should be colon two double colon five and we see successful communication between these devices let's go ahead and also try to ping our ip4 address because uh, the host is also configured for dual stack so let's ping the ip4 address on the other side which should be Two dot eleven, and we see successful communication. Thus, you can see how easy it is to run IPv6 as well as IPv4 networks over Cisco SD-WAN fabric. That's it for this demo, and thanks for watching.